Hi, I'm Beth from the Atlantic Club and today I'm going to show you some exercises for heart health. We're going to start with a little warm up. We're going to stretch and warm up and then we're going to move into some strength exercises that are easy to do. You can do these at the gym, you can do them at home and then we're going to wrap up with a little bit of cardio. So grab your weights or even two water bottles and let's get started. Follow me, let's go exercise. So we're gonna start with a warm up. You're gonna bring your feet about hip distance, roll your shoulders back, take a deep breath in, reach up tall and exhale your arms down. Again, deep breath in, reach tall, exhale your arms down. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale down. Now you're reaching up, I want you to lengthen towards the ceiling, really get the blood flowing. You're gonna do one more here. Good. And then open your arms wide and curl in and open, curl in and open one last time. You should feel warm now, so you're gonna pick up your weights and we're gonna start with a series of exercises. So grab your weights, you're gonna hold them by your side, stand nice and tall, bring your feet about shoulder, distance, you're sitting back into a squat. So when we squat, we wanna sit back like we're sitting into a chair, weights in the back of the heels, your toes, your knees are not going over your toes. You're gonna stand back up, curl, and press overhead. Again, you're gonna squat down, weights in the heels, bicep curl, press overhead. You're gonna do this exercise 10 times, three rounds. So here's our second workout. What you're gonna do is hold the weights by your side. Again, I always want you to stand tall, so think about your posture. Step your foot forward, bicep curl, lower back down, and then step your foot back. You're gonna alternate your feet. Step forward and curl. Now, if you'd like to make this one harder, you can go into a lunge. So you would lunge all the way down, bicep curl, bring it back up and lunge and curl. Exercise number three. So here, we're gonna drop one of our weights down. We're gonna work a little bit more of your core, but also using your upper body and lower body at the same time. You're gonna place the weight overhead. You're pulling your knee up as you bring your arms down. You're gonna alternate sides. Up and down. Here, not only are you working your upper body, but you're using your lower body and your core should be engaged. You're gonna do 10. So now I want you to take your weights, place them down onto the floor, and we're gonna move into some cardio moves. First cardio move is gonna be a jumping jack. So you can either be here, arms are overhead, tapping out to the side. You can also bring your arms to the front or doing a regular fold jumping jack. Anyone is fine as long as your heart rate is coming up. So as you're doing your jumping jacks, what I want you to keep in mind is that your heart rate should be elevated, but what we tell everyone is that you should be able to talk but not sing. So as you do this, think about that. You should be able to have a little bit of a conversation, but definitely not sing a song. Next cardio move. High knees, so you're either here, bringing the knee up and tapping down, or you can go a little bit faster. It's up to you. Last cardio move, wide stance. We're gonna work the squat back into this, bring your arms up to the side, you're gonna squat and press. Now here, same thing, you can move a little slower through the movement, but again, making sure your heart rate feels like it's elevated, but you can't sing. <laughs> or you can come down into a jump squat and really work a little harder. So that wraps up our exercises. Thank you for joining me today at the Atlanta Club. I hope you enjoyed your workout. And just a reminder, 150 minutes of exercise is recommended for adults a week with two days of strength training for heart health. So make sure you exercise daily.